actually going to nominate four people, the first of which is going to be my adopted aunt, Cindy Tino. You're the only one more fortunate uh, than us in Arizona because of the weather, so I had to nominate you. Um, I'm also going to be nominating my fellow Sweat Pink Arizona sister, Jen McAmos. I am going to be nominating Rachel Edwards. You're welcome. And I'm going to be nominating Lisa Kagasoff. So, Ellie, I'm scared. I'm scared. All right, time to do this. One, two, three. I didn't get to say everything I wanted to say because I got a little bit distracted and flustered by the ice water. Um, if you guys don't know how this all started, I'm actually going to post a couple of links on my blog and a video. It, um, it all started because a baseball player from Boston College named Pete Freights, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, Pete Freights, was diagnosed with it in 2012. Um, I was reading about it and it said he was 29, so I don't know if he's 29 now or if he was 29 then, but still, it's insane and it's so sad and I don't know if you guys really know a whole lot about it. It's a neurodegenerative disease. Yes, I know. I do not bueno. Um, and you go from being normally functioning to in a wheelchair, not able to communicate, to talk, I know I've heard stories about people who communicate by blinking once for yes, twice for no, and that's literally the only thing that they can do. Um, I had a sorority sister who had um, a loved one that was affected by it, and um, I also wanted to say hi to her and tell her that this was also for her. Um, I haven't talked to her in a long time, but I hope you're doing well if you see this. And... Yeah, that's it. So um, I'm going to post the video of me pouring the ice bucket of my head on my blog, and I'm also going to link to the um, an article. I think it was Time Magazine that posted the article that I just read. Oh, another thing I wanted to tell you guys is, is that the ALS Association is reporting that from last year at this time, I think they said July 29th through... Wow, it's a rough life, huh? <laughs> You're silly. Um, last, that last year, they had about $1.9 million brought in between, I think, July 29th and August 20th. This year, they're reporting $31.5 million. So, this is a really cool thing. It's gone viral, and I just think it's, it's for a great cause, and I can't think of a better way than to have fun while doing something for a great cause. So, anyway, Allie and I would like to say have a wonderful day, and we will talk to you later. Say bye. Say bye-bye. Bye.